$75 at a thrift store and he sold it for $2,200. Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, if you've been with my channel for a while, you're going to know this seller. He, I, I should call him a reseller. He is fantastic. He is hodgepodge. And I have been featuring his eBay store probably since around the time my channel started. Um, he is a fantastic bolo finder. So every, you know, six, four, six, eight months, I reach out to him and I'm like, hey, it's that time. Do you want me to feature your store? And he's like, yeah. So um, he's very, very kind to share his bolos with us. And we are going to get started here. And I'm going to share with you his bolo items. But first, um, this is his Facebook group. It is uh, resellers, research group, flippers, sellers, thrifters, buyers, and more. I will link it down in the description of the video if you guys would like to go over and join that. It is a group that I do recommend on Facebook. And he is also on um, TikTok. I'm not on TikTok anymore. I don't follow TikTok anymore, but um, I do know a lot of you do. So I want to give you this information. I will link it down below. It is resell with Eddie and Ashley and him and his wife do this together. Um, but they're all little reseller related videos and you will really definitely get some education from watching them. They are bolo finders for sure. So definitely go and check out their TikTok. All right. Are you guys ready to see some huge, big money, unexpected bolos? Let's get started. This is his store. And I will go ahead and link it down in the description below. He always has a really big range of items from bread and butter to big money. Um, always love seeing the stuff he finds. Incredible. I could probably do a bread and butter video on his stuff too, just because he finds such cool items. So the first item, actually, we're going to work our way backwards here. Okay, here we go. We're going to start with this harpoon. He got this for $75 at a thrift store. $75 at a thrift store and he sold it for $2,200. It's a harpoon. It's a vintage whaling whale harpoon spear. I mean, are you kidding me? Who finds that at a thrift store? Eddie finds it at a thrift store. Yeah, $2,200 plus shipping. The next item are these amazing, stunning Royal Copenhagen barn owls on nest, a state find rare owl figure he put a state find in the title but he actually got it at a thrift store for five dollars and he sold these for six hundred dollars i mean it looks something like something you would find in an estate sale but you know i people do that all the time they say it's from an estate i think that word estate in the title pulls people in but you can see here it's got that marking there on the bottom all right, the next item is this antique lightning rod, white glass ball, copper rod. I would see this and I would walk right past it. I don't know about you guys, but um, would anybody have... Okay, tell me in the comments, would you have known what this was or would you have walked right past it? He said, I got a collection of 16 last year for 850 He's like, I'm 3,500 in the profit and have three or four left to sell. This one sold for $525. I was going to say, I remember featuring this before because I'm like, what on earth is that? It was in another video I did of his. So he has sold quite a few of these. This is a vintage large brass or bronze figural lion door knocker. Now, can you clean the brass? I think you can. What do you guys always recommend? Would you clean it or would you leave it as is? I have some belts that are incredible. I think they are handmade and they have this green stuff on them. And I was going to clean it and somebody told me not to just to sell it as is. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I mean, he sold this for um, 425 or no, wait, I'm sorry. He paid 
14 at the Goodwill and sold it for best offer of 425. And he's got the green stuff on there. So I'm starting to think maybe I should just leave the green stuff on there. You guys, these belts are incredible. I don't even know. I don't even know what to say about them. I got them at an estate clean out at a garage sale estate clean out. Ooh, they're beautiful. I think the lady that um, owned the, uh, or the, the lady that passed away, I believe she was into art and I believe she made them, but I'm not a hundred percent sure, but they are just incredible. So I hope to get those listed soon. This right here is a vintage eight lug Lugwig snare drum and it's gold sparkle. He got this at a yard sale for 25 and sold it for 375 plus shipping. The next item here is this diamond ring. He paid $165 um, it was a private buy and he sold this for 375 best offer. So I will tell you that Eddie is very, very good with jewelry. He actually has a YouTube channel where he buys jewelry from the Goodwill and he does unboxings on that channel. So I'll link his uh, YouTube channel down below also. I'm not sure if he's done any lately, but um, definitely educational. He finds a lot of gold and silver in his buys that he finds. Tell City Chairs got 14 chairs for 150 and have sold three now for full price. Um, thrift store purchase. Oh, okay. So he got all 14 for 150 at a thrift store. So $425 he sold them for. So it looks like he's got two sold, two available right now. That's what's showing up. I would have walked right past those chairs. Rare New York City World Trade Center Skyline Motion Picture Lamp with Sound. Got it at a thrift store for $15. Sold it for $165. This here is an Edison Stock Ticker Replica Coin Bank Glass Globe Rare Find. He got this for $15 at a thrift store. It's a reproduction, but they are always worth money. Took 20 off. So he ended up selling it for $155 plus shipping. This one right here. Oh my goodness. It's a James Cromer folk art doll angel. Never would have guessed it would have been worth this much money. Now I definitely would have looked it up because it's signed. Paid 10 at a thrift store, took a best offer of 80. Retired Doc Martens Airwear Mini Groove DNA Backpack logo, logo, adjustable, excellent use condition. He got this at a thrift store for $5 and sold it for $120 plus shipping. This is a piggy bank. He paid $5 at a yard sale for it and he sold it for $95 on best offer. <coughs> Excuse me. It is a rare 1971 Play Pal Plastic Bigfoot Groovy Hippie Monster Coin Bank. And it is vintage. How cool is that? Okay, he is a specialist in pitchers, um, jugs, face jugs. You're going to see more of this. Um, he, I, I call him an expert. Anytime I find a jug, I'm like, what do you think? And he's like, that's junk. Or he's like, ah, you can get 40 bucks for that. So he is a great help uh, when it comes to things like this for me, for sure. Uh, milk pitcher pair bought last year for 15 and took a best offer of 205 plus shipping. This right here is an Annette Lowe Charleston, South Carolina collection, 20 piece set service of four. He got this at the Salvation Army for 25 and took a best offer of 165 plus shipping. And I'm pretty sure him and Ashley team up and work pretty well together on a lot of um, these items. I know she specializes in some different things. I don't know if she has a separate store or if they just share a store. But um, she has a really great eye for bolo items also. Definitely check out their TikTok. This is an antique early American oak wood stationery silverware box or chest. Uh, $30 at a garage sale and sold it for $215 plus shipping. Just to give you an idea kind of here what we're looking at. It's pretty incredible, right? This is an antique tobacco plug cutter. Chew Sally Joe tobacco chew whole chunk. Whatever that means. Let's see. What did this sell for? 
He got it at a flea market for 25 and took a best offer of 185. And I bet that bad boy is heavy. Mattel, see and say, the farmer says, talking doll from 1991. He got this at a thrift store for $10 and sold it for $125 plus shipping. And that's another thing I like about Eddie's store is it's just, there's so much variety, you know, just so many different items from plush toys to hard goods, um, tools, just everything. Life with Charles Manson paid a dollar at a yard sale and sold it for $225 plus shipping. So it is a book. This next item here is a jug. This is a Gary Dexter pottery jug. It's a rare Inglefield style. And he got this at on eBay. He bought it on eBay for $45 last year and he sold it on eBay for $225. So if you know this type of stuff, you can source on platforms because certain people don't know what they have. And he knew what it was and he bought it. He may have put that in his personal collection for a while and decided to sell it. This one here, I love this one. It's a Porsche bear uh, driver's selection kids toy 16 inch teddy bear with a little race pass on it. He got this at the Goodwill for $5 and sold it for 90 plus shipping. Love, love, love this one. It might be my favorite of the whole video. Rare original Real Ghostbusters Finger Pop Friends set of three, Kenner. Sold for $93.99 on um, auction. So I don't really know what exactly they are, but I love them just because I've never seen them before. It's new to me and it's a big money bolo that I didn't know about and it's a toy. So you guys know I love it. Uh, $93.99 plus shipping auction. Here's another uh, big old jug. Let's see. what uh, I lost my spot. Oh, the Ghostbusters were in a lot that he got for $10. So that was just part of the lot. This one is Bainham. Or no, wait, I'm sorry. Yeah. Gre uh, Joseph Gregory Bainham, Inglefield Pottery, one gallon stoneware jar. Yard sale $5 and sold it for a best offer of $290. See, this is what I mean knowing what to look for, scooping it up for five bucks. That is fantastic. Wow. The next item is this vintage retro Welby key wind Sputnik wall clock, not working starburst. Got it for 45 at a local auction and sold it for $245 plus shipping, not working guys. This is a vintage mid-century modern brass world map, Masketeers. 1970 mid-century modern wall decor. $10 at a thrift store. Sold it for $225 plus shipping. All right, you guys. If you don't know, blow molds are a big money bolo. It doesn't matter if they're Halloween, Easter, Christmas. They pretty much all do well. Uh, this one right here, he got at a thrift store for $10 and sold it for $220. It is a vintage Empire 35-inch reindeer blow mold full size. And it's just one of them. I think it's part of a set. This is a Garmin Montana unit with charger bundle and box with manual. This came from a yard sale. He paid $15 for it, sold it for $245. He's got photos here of it working. And that's a pre-owned item, guys. This is a rare F Krober clock, China ceramic antique floral mo motif. And he got this on, it was a consigned item. So he took 40% of the sale and it sold for 315 plus shipping. This next item is a Miro uh, pressure cooker with manual and recipe book. This is what it looks like. And he got this $3 at a yard sale and took a best offer of 60. And the buyer paid shipping. This next item is a beautiful, beautiful mixed media Liz Tech Artisan Bead Bingo Dog Brooch Pin. And that's what it looks like here. This one came from the Goodwill. He bought it for two bucks and he sold it for a best offer of 85 plus shipping. This is a Tom Clark um, Brunheidel Witch Riding Broom sign 1996. This witch was $3 at a uh, thrift store. He said last solds were between 60 and 70, but his wife liked it and wanted to decorate, decorate with it. So he listed it double of the last comp and it sold within a day. So he was like trying to make it uh, maybe sell slow so she could hang on to it for a little while. And it sold for 115 super fast. So actually did not get to hang on to that one. 
The next item is this Rock Band 4 wireless Fender. It's a um, Xbox, yeah, Xbox guitar. Uh, as is with issues, paid six dollars at the Goodwill. So it is just parts, you guys. One hundred two fifty on auction plus shipping. This is a vintage Cole Littleton Linville genuine Panama hand woven straw hat, size medium. He got this at a yard sale for three dollars and took a best offer of a hundred on that. Here's the inside, so real easy to look up. This is a vintage new old stock swag lamp uh, by Modulite Floral Arch. He got this at a thrift store for 15 and took a best offer of 95 plus shipping. The next item is this channel black box. Uh, it's a DVR remote and power supply. It's by Lorex. He got this for $20 at a yard sale and sold it for 130 plus shipping. This is a rare, superb, running bear, Native American, opal and sterling silver cuff bracelet. And it is stunning for sure. This one came uh, bracelet, let's see, thrift store, $10, took a best offer of 110 plus shipping. This next item is a cross century two sterling silver ballpoint pen. So make sure you are looking to see if those pens are sterling because they definitely can be. Is that where it says it right there, maybe? Silver, 925. Um, let's see. Where did he get this? He got it at a thrift store for 25 and sold it for 160 The next item is this 1988 Matchbox Pee Wee's Playhouse set with the figures. This came from a thrift store. He paid 15 for it and sold it for 145 plus shipping. This is an American Girl scene and setting book, Addie Walker, 1864, large backdrop. And you guys, I have one of these large black backdrops, I think, somewhere in my money pile. I probably need to find it. Anyway, this one, let's, uh, Goodwill, $12 and sold for 115 plus shipping. These are a pair of Teaks by Gavarelli Ballet Flat Shoes Comfort Travel Size 10 matte black in bag he got these at the goodwill for five dollars and sold them for 165 dollars if you don't know they're kind of like a fold-up shoe um but they do really really well i've never found any but i don't really look at shoes so i if i saw them i would definitely grab them jim booth rare print plantation gobbler signed number 1989 Jim Booth print. I bought 22 at a yard sale for 15 each. This one sold for 325 plus shipping. This is a Gucci 18 karat gold plated mother of pearl watch. And it was not working. He paid $5 at a yard sale for it and sold it for 275. Uh, it just needed a battery. So he got it for a really good deal because it wasn't working. Needed a battery. The next item here is one of those jug faces that I was telling you that he collects and knows a lot about. Um, definitely his uh, thing right there. He got this at a private sale for 65 and it sold for 185 plus shipping. This is a tac tachometer chronometric type C2 or 1-1 World War II Air Force U.S. Army. He got this at a thrift store for $3 and sold it for $185 plus shipping. The next item, um, okay, he told me how to say it. It's Luchesny. <laughs> he wrote it down for me. He knows I wouldn't be able to say it. Luchesny. I won't be able to remember that. So I'm going to say it one more time. So maybe I'll remember it. Luchesny. <laughs> yes. Yes. 1883 ostrich leg cowboy boots leather brown nine and a half western boots um he said very good boot bolo he got these ostrich boots at the goodwill for eight dollars and fifty cents and sold them for 225 all right you guys that is his store. again it will be linked down below check out his youtube channel check out his tiktok Check out his Facebook group and thanks for watching. What do you guys think? Which one was your favorite? Which one did you not know about? Which one were you kind of like, whoa?
I did not know about that. Oh, so fun seeing all these bolos, right? Um, I think that, uh, what was that first one? The harpoon? What? I would have looked at that and been like, there is no way I am shipping that. And I would have walked right past it. I would have gave all that money away. Would you have picked up the harpoon? Let me know in the comments. All right, you guys, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Go check out Eddie and Ashley. Links are down below. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here, a subscribe and another video here. Um, I would love for you guys to subscribe to the channel if you're new here. If you're new here, say I'm new here. Um, first time watching, let me know what you thought. Any feedback is appreciated. Just be nice. Thanks for watching.